Hi, I'm Joel Goodman and today I'm going to do a tutorial on the Stowaway. This is one of the grade 2 pieces from ABRSM and I played this to a pupil the, just yesterday and she decided to choose it. But I found it quite hard when I was sight reading it so I thought I'll do a tutorial on this one. Uh, I'm still really sight reading it, I haven't practiced it so I'm going to learn it and you will see how I learn it and I'll ask you to pause the video and you'll do the same as I will do to learn this piece, the stowaway. Now, when I look at it, the left hand starts. So I think I'm going to learn the left hand of the first two bars to begin with. Uh, and we've got quavers followed by two crotchets. Coffee, coffee, tea, tea. If you've watched one of my other videos, for minims, the white notes, I like to say milk, milk, milk. So the opening rhythm. Coffee, coffee, tea, tea, milk, milk. It will sound like this. Just turn it up a little bit. Coffee, coffee, tea, tea, milk, milk. Now, um, in the book where there's a little number three beneath A, that is our first technical challenge. We play an A, we play another A, but we finger three. B flat, then A. Okay, so there's the first two bars. Now, with this B flat and A, we've got two uh, notes above in the right hand. Now, watch out, mistake number one that some pupils may make. This piece it starts off with bass clef and bass clef. So these notes here, watch out the bass clef. Okay, I always like to remember in the spaces, all cows eat grass. So the top note, all cows eat, E. Finger four on E. Now I'm just wondering if, I, if that will see. It's quite low this piece. Let's move that across. Four. That finger four on E, and a space to a line normally means that the note is, is well, it's going to be very close to it. So in this case, it's next to it. It's E and D. Okay, and then we it changes position to two new notes. So if we practice that, D and E, C sharp and F. C sharp's the low note. Put it together. Sounds really weird. That sounds very strange, doesn't it? So, okay. I actually, I don't like the sound of that bit actually. But let's carry on. Okay, now the right hand, a nice easy bar, starting on D. Right, so I'm going to do a look at that again. Now it tells you to put finger three on A, which gives you one and four naturally there. So I think two and five would come across well. Oh, so let's practice that. One and four, two and five. One and four, two and five. Okay. Now beneath those two, I'm learning it right now. Okay, so really slowly from the beginning. Okay, um, I would pause the video if I were you and try that a few times. I'm going to try it once more now. Now, 
Now, this is when I got a bit confused when I was playing this piece for my pupil. Beneath the left hand, it's got an 8 and a VA. Uh, that means play it an octave lower than it's written, so not here, but down here. Now, where does it go up to? See, it says to put 4 on E. Ah, and there. Yeah, now, okay, so this is why I got confused. Bar 8. It looks like there's a really big jump going down to the next note. It's not, it's going up. And I hate it when music does this. So we are just going up. We go up to the thumb on A. The thumb lands on A. But in the music it looks like it jumps down. So I'll play that again. Okay, and then it goes up higher. In fact, no. The next note is bracketed. Now this means we, we actually don't have to play that note. If you look in the right hand, the right hand plays the same note. So I'm not going to worry about that note. So we'll just play A, A. Okay, so I'm practicing the left hand now, bar seven and eight. Coffee, 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 tea, tea. Okay, one more time. Coffee, 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 tea, tea. Okay, and the right hand. seven again. Now, we get D and E, C sharp and E. They're, these are not common shapes. I mean, if you're used to playing the AVRSM grades, this B piece has got quite a lot of crunchy moments. Okay, so I'm going to try bar seven and eight. slowly from the beginning now. Remember everything I'm playing is slower than you would need to play in the grade because I'm learning it right now as well. I played that, that I didn't have a look at bars uh, six, five and six with you. So we've got these, all these different chord shapes. Now there's a nice pattern there. One, two, five, one, two, four. One, two, and five, one, two, and four. One, two, and five, one, two, and four. This bit we've looked at. So if I put that bit of hands together again, and this bit really sounds quite fantastic, I think. Um, here we go. So. Okay, we're moving on. We're on to bar nine. Let's look at the left first. It looks easier. Uh, it's nice to start with an easier bit of playing. So here we go. bar 13, so I'm going to play those four bars again. Okay, let's break it down into two sections. The first bar is easy. Now here's the first technical challenge. Three goes over. Three squashes up. Two is spare. 
don't need to stick it in the air, I'm just showing you that it's spare. Okay, that bar, uh, what number are we on there? Bar, bar 11, that's quite an easy bar. Now let's rewind, so the first bar's easy. Now this bar's tricky, you play the thumb, three goes over, three squashes up. because there's a lot of notes, but there's only one change. Thumb under to A. Then, my favourite thing, repeated material. Okay, we'll come back to that bit. I'm going to practice it once more. You can pause the video and practice these four bars. Sempre staccato, always staccato. Sempre meaning always, staccato, spiky, detached playing. Uh, for now though, when you learn it, I think it's easier just to, to not play it detached, just get the shapes. So, the thumb moves up one. Here's the first real challenge, a new position. It's not wrong, 
But I'm going to stick to what's in the book. The book says to change later. So I need to practice this. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I find, I find that bar, bar 12, quite tricky. That's a tough one for me. Okay, it's starting to feel uh, all right now. So I just try it again. together so I'm going to play it ever so slowly because I'm learning it from the beginning lessons is, uh, or was more, when my teacher went wrong. Um, I used to love it when he would go wrong uh, because my teacher hardly ever went wrong. He's, he's such a good musician um, and I hardly ever caught him making mistakes but it really made me happy when my teacher went wrong. Now, let's carry on. I'm going to look at the right hand of the next section, 13, 14, bar 15, finger 4 on middle C. repeating it. Okay, I'm going to try now and play from bar 9, this, this serious bit. So from there. Oh. 
Yes, it is. That note all the way down there. The low D. Okay, very near the lowest note of the piano. I'm going to play the left hand again from uh, 1817. So, the left hand, okay, now let's look at the right. Now, I, 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 my tempo was a bit strange there, so I'll do that again. I'm going to count as well. worried about dynamics or articulation at the moment is just to get from the beginning to the end correct rhythm correct notes try and get the fingers correct because it makes you more confident you feel less nervous when you perform it this uh, I've learned this with you so what I'm playing to you now is, is a little bit of practice on this so you know even me as a teacher I, I'd want to I'd want to work on this if I had to perform it I would practice it even more. Okay, but here is um, my first go at the whole piece. discovered 
What do you think? The ending? It's nice to have a story in your head. I think he made it. So wherever he or she was going to, stowed away beneath the ship, in my mind, that person made it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you will enjoy learning the stowaway. Uh, please like the video or subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know any other songs or little problems you've got with your piano grades and I hope to create some helpful videos for you. Thank you.